The battle between government forces and remaining Mauta fighters in Marawi's war zone rages on. Nine more Mauta stragglers are killed in a fresh firefight. One of them was a high-ranking official in the terror group. Our Rex Romito is in Marawi City to tell us more. Nine Mauta stragglers carrying high-powered rifles and machine guns fought it out with government troops. Joint Task Force Ranao Deputy Commander Romeo Browner says the terrorists had no choice but to open fire as soldiers surrounded them. Lumaban na sila. Talagang lumaban po sila. No? These nine strugglers are believed to be part of the remaining Maute ISIS terrorists who attacked Marawi City on May 23, 2017. He says the stragglers were out looking for food in the main battle zone when soldiers found them. The fierce fighting lasted from early dawn to late afternoon on Sunday. One of those killed was Ibrahim Maute alias Abu Jamil, the cousin of Maute brothers Omar and Abdullah. Abu Jamil was the group's supply officer. He was in charge of provisions such as food and ammunition for the fighters. Browner says Abu Jamil's death is another big blow to the Maute group. Supply is very important when it comes to, to sustaining war effort. Kaya uh, very important yung naging role ni Abu Jamil. Military officials also say Amin Bako, said to be the new leader of ISIS in Southeast Asia, was killed. Officials, however, are still verifying his death. The scene of the crime operatives of the Marawi police are now processing the bodies. They will be buried in the Makbara Public Cemetery on the outskirts of Marawi. Allahummarhamhum. <laughs> Lanao del Sur board member and Imam Abdul Hamid Amerbitor says, Maute fighters still deserve a decent burial even if they killed some soldiers and civilians. Kahit Maute man yan o rebel di man yan, uh, uh, pinanganak na Muslim siya. Browner believes there are only less than 20 Maute stragglers still left in different areas in the war zone. Because of the danger, the area is still off limits to the public. In Marawi City, Rex Remitio, CNN, Philippines.